Well, in just 64 days, the Houston Zoo is revealing its brand new gorilla habitat with seven of the great apes. And while the gorillas are sure to be drawing crowds here, the impact of the exhibit is even bigger and could save animals across the globe. This is super exciting. Channel 2 anchor Andy Sirota is just days away from the journey of a lifetime to show you how your ticket to the zoo will save gorillas all the way in Africa. This Saturday, my photographer and I will begin an 8,000 mile journey to witness firsthand what's putting the gorilla population at risk and to see how Houstonians can help save this great animal. Last minute shopping, a final round of shots, and double checking the gear that will go with us. All the final steps before we board a plane this weekend. Our destination, Rwanda, home to one of the only thriving gorilla populations in all of Africa. In spite of poachers, population booms, and even human illnesses that can and have wiped out entire gorilla families, the gorillas we'll come face to face with are surviving, thanks to a group dubbed the Gorilla Doctors. They're veterinarians that treat colds and even perform surgeries out in the wild. And their work is made possible thanks to groups like the Houston Zoo and all the families that file into the park each day. We'll be meeting up with a worker from the Houston Zoo while we're in Rwanda. Not only will we see the gorillas in person, we'll get to show you how even the youngest children in Rwanda are learning to save the great apes thanks to help from the Houston Zoo and all of us. Be sure to follow our journey on air on clicktohouston.com, on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for the hashtag Saving Gorillas. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News. Hi, Andy. We'll be sending back stories from Rwanda next week, and we'll be bringing you a very special hour-long program on the effort to save the gorillas coming up in May. Yeah, the new exhibit opens at the Houston Zoo on May 22nd. I've been to Rwanda twice. Uh, I had never made it to the gorilla area there, mm -hmm. but uh, it's a beautiful country. They call it the land of a thousand hills, and so he's going to be there. He's going to have a great time, and uh, yeah. he's going to be doing some important work as well. Absolutely. So, Can't yeah. wait to see those stories. Mm -hmm. It was wet today, but that didn't stop folks from coming out to a free citywide block party at the downtown food truck park. The reason? To celebrate a gigantic gorilla mural. On Memorial Day weekend, the zoo will unveil its brand new gorilla habitat with seven of the great apes. And to help get the word out, five artists painted five life-size murals. The zoo's new exhibit actually going to help save gorillas across the world in Africa. In fact, Channel 2 anchor Andy Sirota just took off for his 8,000-mile journey to Rwanda. Hey guys, it's time. We're about an hour away from Wheels Up. We'll be on a nine-hour flight to Amsterdam. Once we get to Amsterdam, we have a two-hour layover. Then we hop on a ten-hour flight to Kigali, Rwanda. Once we get to the airport there, we have to get our visas in order to get, in order to get into the country. And then it's a two-and-a-half-hour drive to the Wasanzi District in northwest Rwanda, our final destination, Volcanoes National Park. Look for my reports beginning Monday right here on KPRC. Well, trip of a lifetime. Andy and photographer Damon Sales will be witnessing firsthand what is putting the gorilla population there at risk. Their stories start this Monday, and you can follow their journey on air on click2houston.com and on Facebook and Twitter. Just search the hashtag Saving Gorillas. We are very excited about a joint adventure between KPRC and the Houston Zoo. It's going to culminate in a few months with the zoo opening a brand new gorilla habitat. As part of our coverage leading up to that big reveal, Channel 2's Andy Sirota is in Rwanda to show us how the zoo's exhibit could ultimately save animals across the globe. We're in Musanzi, Rwanda, well over a mile above sea level near the base of the Virunga Mountains, home to the mountain gorillas. Our first stop, the Kagano School, where we spent time with a group of school children who were doing their part to save the gorillas. We were mob like rock stars. The joy on their faces and in their hearts was palpable. But make no mistake, these kids are here to learn. They give you nice smiles. Let's see all of your nice smiles. The students, ages 10 to 15, are part of a program funded entirely by the Houston Zoo. It's called Conservation Heritage Tarambe. Tarambe in English means 
Let us be sustainable. In the first half of the school year, children in the program learn about the importance of staying healthy and how human health is directly linked to the gorilla's health. The second half of the school year is all about wildlife conservation. So class breaks all together, read the sentence. The students are taught in English under a tin roof in a classroom built out of cinder blocks with no electricity or running water. While the building doesn't seem to hold much value, the lessons these kids are learning are invaluable. Tomorrow we're taking you on the journey of a lifetime up the mountain to see the gorillas firsthand. In Musanzi, Rwanda, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And we had our click to vote question up during Andy's report. The question was, do you plan to check out the uh, gorilla exhibit at the Houston Zoo? Looks like majority of you say, yeah, 89%. So you're curious to see the new faces at the zoo. Mm -hmm. This week, uh, Channel 2 anchor Andy Sirota is in Rwanda. He's giving us a look at an impressive effort to get gorillas off the endangered list. And as Andy shows us today, it is all made possible in part by the Houston Zoo and all the families who file into the park each and every week. We're right outside the Gorilla Doctor's compound here in Musanzi. A full-grown male gorilla can weigh in excess of 450 pounds, so getting them down the mountain for medical treatment isn't an option. So the Gorilla Doctors trek out into the wild and go to them. Rwanda is home to 11 million people. Tourism here is thriving, but it's not the only thing saving the mountain gorillas. A team of 12 veterinarians from three different Central African countries are saving the lives of these endangered animals by making house calls. The Houston Zoo is one of their biggest supporters. They provide us with uh, funding for, for our veterinarians, for our vehicles, and for our drugs. And that comes from everyday people coming through the gate. Part of every dollar you spend at the zoo helps the gorilla doctors with their mission. All the planning for their weekly visits up the mountain begins at their compound, not far from the gorilla's natural habitat, close to a mile and a half above sea level. Disease is one of the greatest threats they're faced with. As more and more tourists come in contact with them, the greater the gorilla's chances of catching a disease. Even more concerning to us is the, are the diseases that are in this region that they haven't been exposed to yet, like measles. So they're naive to measles, and yet there are cases of measles in the children surrounding the park. Right now, the mountain gorilla population is growing at a rate of 4% a year. Additional quality veterinary care will ensure that trend continues. In Musanzi, Rwanda, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. And here's a look at Andy's Twitter page. He's been tweeting and posting on Facebook with pictures and video from his journey. Follow his updates to learn much more about how the zoo is helping to save the gorillas. It's all leading up to the new gorilla exhibit opening up at the Houston Zoo on May 22nd. We've been telling you how your family's trip to the Houston Zoo is helping to save wildlife like the endangered gorillas in Africa. Anchor Andy Sirota has been reporting from Rwanda where he has shown us how the gorilla doctors treat sick or injured animals. Well, today he got to go into the rainforest to see these great apes firsthand. We're here at Volcanoes National Park, trekking up the side of the mountain. If it sounds like I'm out of breath, that's because I am. We're about a mile and a half above sea level. We're trekking to see the Hirwa Mountain Gorilla Group. Hirwa in English means lucky. We were up before dawn, and even though it wasn't raining on our trek, we still encountered some of the thickest volcanic mud known to man. About an hour and a half into our journey in a dense bamboo rainforest, the moment we'd been waiting for. There we were, face to face with members of the Hirwa Mountain Gorilla Group. They're habituated, which means they're used to being around people. The gorillas are very curious creatures. Right back there, sitting against the bamboo, is the adult silverback male. He is the leader of the pack, the head of his family. Now, we can't get too close. We have to keep our distance. We have to stay seven meters away from them. His name is Munyinya, and his group is special because it's one of only two mountain gorilla groups with twins. The gorilla's natural habitat, high up in a Rwandan rainforest, may be a world away from Houston, but every time you take your family to the Houston Zoo, you're supporting a host of vital conservation programs that will ensure their survival. 
This experience has been beyond incredible, not only because we got the chance to see the mountain gorillas, but because we got to learn and understand more about the monumental amount of cooperation it takes between all the different organizations here in Rwanda to protect them. In Volcanoes National Park, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. We will be bringing you a special one-hour program on the gorillas and how Houstonians can help save them in May, just before the May 22nd opening of that new gorilla habitat right here at the Houston Zoo. And if you'd like, you can see more of Andy's journey right now on the community page of click2houston.com.